Denon's X-Series AVRs are some of the most popular, from the X3800H to the X4800H and now this big guy, the X6800H. If you're wondering which one of these would make sense for your setup, in this video we are unboxing the X6800H, showing you what makes it special and helping you decide if it's worth stepping up. Right out of the box, the X6800H feels like a serious piece of gear. It comes with a calibration microphone for Odyssey, a cheap mic stand made of cardboard, and a detachable power cord, and the usual antennas. The remote control, however, is rather cheaply made and not even backlit for something that is this expensive. It's heavy, over 34 pounds. That weight comes from a big power supply. The power amp is monoblock construction and discreet. It's built in Japan at the same facility that produces Denon's flagship models. And that on paper means higher build quality, tighter tolerances and stronger quality control. On the back, you see gold plated terminals which you don't see in the lower models. And it's not just cosmetic, they resist oxidation and will hold up through years of connections. Under the hood, you get 11 power channels. That's right, 11 power channels at 140 watts each. Remember that 140 watts is with just two channels driven. Processing up to 13 channels, so you can do a 9.4 if you add an external amplifier. 7 HDMI 2.1 inputs and all 8K60 and all of them 4K120 ready. 3 HDMI outs and supports ARC and eARC. For you gamers, it has features like variable refresh rate and auto low latency mode and that's included. And support for every immersive format Dolby Atmos, DTSX Pro, Oro 3D and IMAX enhanced. So whatever format you want, the X6800H is ready to go. It also supports Zone 2 and Zone 3. It has three trigger outs if you want to send a signal to another device such as an amplifier or a projector. And now let's talk sound. The X6800H uses two ESS Sabre ES9017 DACs and also some Texas Instruments PCM5102 DACs. Now, the Texas Instrument DACs are also used in the lower models, the X4800H. Now, these DACs, they deliver excellent clarity, dynamic range, and low distortion. In plain English, that means even with all 11 channels blasting, the audio stays clean and effortless. Uh, for room calibration, you get Odyssey XT32, very common with um, Denon receivers out of the box. Now it is solid, but I personally don't like what Odyssey does to bass and high frequencies. I recommend upgrading to direct life for even better results, but that's gonna cost you an additional $550 or so if you choose not to wait for the direct's 20% off sales that generally happens during Black Friday, but that is direct life full bandwidth. Now that includes direct live bass control as well which optimizes multiple subwoofers together but I recommend that you invest in something like a mini DSP for the uh, bass and tuning your subwoofers. That way you just need the direct live full bandwidth and then you can optimize your subwoofers. There's a learning curve to it. The link to that video is in the description. It's a very popular video. I recommend uh, you do watch that. And you can take the full advantage of four discrete subwoofer pre-outs if you do go for the direct live bass control license on this receiver. Now quick context about the lower models. The X3800H, which has gone on sale for around $970 or so, that powers nine channels. Uh, it's great for like a 5.1.4 or a 7.1.2 setup. Uh, with an external amplifier, you can stretch that to 11 channels. The X4800H also powers nine channels, but adds better build quality, stronger power supply, and is also made in Japan, just like the X6800H is also made in Japan. The 3800H is made in Vietnam. Uh, and on superhotdeals.net, that's my deals website, it has seen deals of around $1,500 or so for the X4800H. So keep an eye for that. I'll leave a link to the deals website in the description. The X6800H, it goes further. 
11 power channels and up to 13 channels of processing, premium ESS DAX, gold-plated posts, and better power amp if you don't plan to use an external amplifier. So if you're staying under 11 channels, the X3800 or the X4800H may serve you perfectly. But if you want 7.1.4 or uh, even a 9.1.4 if you add the external amplifier, the 6800H is the logical choice, especially if you can get it for around $2,200. Uh, so yeah, you have to keep looking for the deals on the deals website or look out for black friday deals so who is the 6800h for if you're running a smaller 5.1.2 system honestly this is an overkill but if you're building a dedicated theater with 11 or more channels plan on using an external amp only for maybe the front and the center and you want better DAGs for no compromise audio this receiver gives you all of that. This is a platform you can build on for years. The Denon X6800H is not cheap. It's not for casual living room setups, but if you want a true Atmos or Auto 3D theater with 11 channels of onboard processing, premium build quality, better DAGs, better sound quality. This is one of the best AVRs you can buy today for that price range. So here is the big question for you. Would you go all in with the X6800H or do you think the X4800H is the sweet spot? Would you put the money you save uh, towards maybe an external amplifier? Drop in your thoughts in the comment section below. And if this breakdown helped, Hit the like and subscribe button for more home theater deep dives and tech videos. Thank you so much.